about Kemika, Kemika Sutta, Samyutta Nikaya, 22.89. On one occasion, many elder monks were staying near Kasambi at Kosita's monastery. And at that time, Venerable Kemika was staying at the Jujube Tree Park, diseased, in pain, severely ill. Then, in the evening, the elder monks left their seclusion and addressed Venerable Dasaka, saying, Come, friend Dasaka, go to the monk Kemika, and on arrival say to him, The elders, friend Kemika, say to you, We hope you are getting better, friend. We hope you are comfortable. We hope that your pains are lessening and not increasing. We hope that there are signs of their lessening and not their increasing. Replying, as you say, friends, to the elder monks, Venerable Dasaka went to Venerable Kemika and, on arrival, said to him, The elders, friend Kemika, say to you, We hope you are getting better, friend. We hope you are comfortable. We hope that your pains are lessening and not increasing. We hope that there are signs of their lessening and not their increasing. I am not getting better, friend. I am not comfortable. My extreme pains are increasing, not lessening. There are signs of their increasing and not their lessening. Then, Venerable Dasaka went to the elder monks and, on arrival, said to them, the monk Kemika has said to me, I am not getting better, my friend. I am not comfortable. My extreme pains are increasing, not lessening. There are signs of their increasing and not of their lessening. Come, friend Dasika, go to the monk Kemika and on arrival say to him, The elders, friend Kemika, say to you, Concerning these five clinging aggregates described by the Blessed One, that is, the form clinging aggregate, the feeling clinging aggregate, the perception clinging aggregate, the fabrications clinging aggregate, the consciousness clinging aggregate, do you assume anything with regard to these five clinging aggregates to be self or belonging to self? Replying, As you say, friends, to the elder monks, Venerable Dasika went to Venerable Kemika and, on arrival, said to him, The elders, friend Kemika, say to you, Concerning these five clinging aggregates described by the Blessed One, that is, the form clinging aggregate, the feeling clinging aggregate, the perception clinging aggregate, the fabrications clinging aggregate, the consciousness clinging aggregate, do you assume anything with regard to these five clinging aggregates to be self or belonging to self? Friend, concerning these five clinging aggregates described by the Blessed One, that is, the form clinging aggregate, the feeling clinging aggregate, the perception clinging aggregate, the fabrications clinging aggregate, the consciousness clinging aggregate, with regard to these five clinging aggregates, there is nothing that I assume to be self or belonging to self. Then Venerable Dasika went to the elder monks and, on arrival, said to them, The monk Kemika has said to me, Friend, concerning these five clinging aggregates described by the Blessed One, that is, the form clinging aggregate, the feeling clinging aggregate, the perception clinging aggregate, the fabrications clinging aggregate, the consciousness clinging aggregate. With regard to these five clinging aggregates, there is nothing I assume to be self or belonging to self. Come, friend Dasika, go to the monk Kemika, and on arrival say to him, The elders, friend Kemika, say to you, concerning these five clinging aggregates described by the Blessed One, that is, the form clinging aggregate, the feeling clinging aggregate, the perception clinging aggregate, the fabrications clinging aggregate, the consciousness clinging aggregate. If, with regard to these five clinging aggregates, Venerable Chemica assumes nothing to be self or belonging to the self, then Venerable Chemica is an arahant, devoid of effluence. Replying, as you say, friends, to the elder monks, 
Venerable Dasika went to Venerable Chemica and, on arrival, said to him, The elders, friend Chemica, say to you, Concerning these five clinging aggregates described by the Blessed One, that is, the form clinging aggregate, the feeling clinging aggregate, the perception clinging aggregate, the fabrications clinging aggregate, the consciousness clinging aggregate. If, with regard to these five clinging aggregates, Venerable Chemica assumes nothing to be self or belonging to self, then Venerable Chemica is an arahant, devoid of effluence. Friend, concerning these five clinging aggregates described by the Blessed One, that is, the form clinging aggregate, the feeling clinging aggregate, the perception clinging aggregate, the fabrications clinging aggregate, the consciousness clinging aggregate. With regard to these five clinging aggregates, there is nothing that I assume to be self or belonging to self, and yet I am not an arahant. With regard to these five clinging aggregates, I am has not been overcome, although I don't assume that I am this. Then, Venerable Dasika went to the elder monks, and, on arrival, said to them, The monk Chemica has said to me, Friend, concerning these five clinging aggregates described by the Blessed One, that is, the form clinging aggregate, the feeling clinging aggregate, the perception clinging aggregate, the fabrications clinging aggregate, the consciousness clinging aggregate. With regard to these five clinging aggregates, there is nothing I assume to be self or belonging to self, and yet I am not an arahant. With regard to these five clinging aggregates, I am has not been overcome, although I don't assume that I am this. Come, friend Daska, go to the monk Chemica, and on arrival say to him, The elders, friend Chemica, say to you, Friend Chemica, this I am of which you speak, what do you say I am? Do you say, I am form, or do you say, I am something other than form? Do you say, I am feeling, or do you say, I am something other than feeling? Do you say, I am perception, or do you say, I am something other than perception? Do you say, I am fabrications, or do you say, I am something other than fabrications? Do you say, I am consciousness, or do you say, I am something other than consciousness? This I am of which you speak, what do you say, I am? Replying, As you say, friends, to the elder monks, Venerable Dasika went to Venerable Chemica, and on arrival said to him, The elders, friend Chemica, say to you, Friend Chemica, this I am of which you speak, what do you say, I am? Do you say, I am form, or do you say, I am something other than form? Do you say, I am feeling, or do you say, I am something other than feeling? Do you say, I am perception, or do you say, I am something other than perception? Do you say, I am fabrications, or do you say, I am something other than fabrications? Do you say, I am consciousness, or do you say, I am something other than consciousness? This, I am, of which you speak, what do you say, I am? Enough, friend Dasika. What is accomplished by this running back and forth? Fetch me my staff. I will go to the elder monks myself. Then, Venerable Chemica, leaning on his staff, went to the elder monks and, on arrival, exchanged courteous greetings with them. After an exchange of friendly greetings and courtesies, he sat to one side. As he was sitting there, the elder monks said to him, Friend Chemica, this I am of which you speak. What do you say I am? Do you say I am form, or do you say I am something other than form? Do you say I am feeling, or do you say I am something other than feeling? Do you say I am perception, or do you say I am something other than perception? Do you say, I am fabrications, or do you say, I am something other than fabrications? Do you say, I am consciousness, or do you say, I am something other than consciousness? This, I am, of which you speak, what do you say, 
I am. Friends, it's not that I say I am form, nor do I say I am something other than form. It's not that I say I am feeling, nor do I say I am something other than feeling. It's not that I say I am perceptions, nor do I say I am something other than perceptions. It's not that I say I am fabrications, nor do I say I am something other than fabrications. It's not that I say I am consciousness, nor do I say I am something other than consciousness. With regard to these five clinging aggregates, I am has not been overcome, although I don't assume that I am this. It's just like the scent of a blue, red, or white lotus. If someone were to call it the scent of a petal, or the scent of the color, or the scent of a filament, would he be speaking correctly? No, friend. Then how would he describe it if he were describing it correctly? As the scent of a flower, that's how he would describe it if he were describing it correctly. In the same way, friends, it's not that I say I am form, nor do I say I am something other than form. It's not that I say I am feeling, nor do I say I am something other than feeling. It's not that I say I am perceptions, nor do I say I am something other than perceptions. It's not that I say I am fabrications, nor do I say I am something other than fabrications. It's not that I say I am consciousness, nor do I say I am something other than consciousness. With regard to these five clinging aggregates, I am has not been overcome, although I don't assume that I am this. Friends, even though a noble disciple has abandoned the five lower fetters, he still has with regard to the five clinging aggregates a lingering residual I am conceit, an I am desire, an I am obsession. But at a later time he keeps focusing on the phenomena of arising and passing away with regard to the five clinging aggregates. Such is form, such its origination, such its disappearance. Such is feeling, such its origination, such its disappearance. Such is perception, such its origination, such its disappearance. Such are fabrications, such their origination, such their disappearance. Such is consciousness, such its origination, such its disappearance. As he keeps focusing on the arising and passing away of these five clinging aggregates, the lingering residual I am conceit, I am desire, I am obsession, is fully obliterated. Just like a cloth, dirty and stained, its owners give it over to a washerman who scrubs it with salt earth or lye or cow dung and then rinses it with clear water. Now even though the cloth is clean and spotless, it still has a lingering residual scent of salt earth or lye or cow dung. The washerman gives it to the owners. The owners put it away in a scent-infused wicker hamper and its lingering residual scent of salt earth lye, or cow dung, is fully obliterated. In the same way, friends, even though a noble disciple has abandoned the five lower fetters, he still has with regard to the five clinging aggregates a lingering residual I am conceit, an I am desire, an I am obsession. But at a later time he keeps focusing on arising and passing away with regard to the five clinging aggregates. Such is form, such its origination, such its disappearance. Such is feeling, such its origination, such its disappearance. Such is perception, such its origination, such its disappearance. Such are fabrications, such their origination, such their disappearance. Such is consciousness, such its origination, such its disappearance. As he keeps focusing on the arising and passing away of these five clinging aggregates, the lingering residual I am conceit, I am desire, I am obsession, is fully obliterated. When this was said, the elder monks said to Venerable Chemica, 
We didn't cross-examine Venerable Chemica with the purpose of troubling him. It's just that we thought Venerable Chemica is capable of declaring the Blessed One's message, teaching it, describing it, setting it forth, revealing it, explaining it, making it plain, just as he has in fact declared it, taught it, described it, set it forth, revealed it, explained it, made it plain. That is what Venerable Chemica said. Gratified, the elder monks delighted in his words. And while this explanation was being given, the minds of sixty-some monks, through lack of clinging, were released from the effluence, as was Venerable Chemica's.